complex for sphere of influence. America entered the 20th century as an emerging colonial power whose Navy and Marine Corps served as a mobile overseas force in readiness. Set to protect the nation's political and commercial interests in an increasingly competitive and dangerous world. Around the world to demonstrate America's will and naval might. The nation now looked to the Navy and Marines, our seagoing fighting forces, with a critical strategic mission to seize and secure foreign ports as advanced naval bases and coaling stations. In a contentious modern world where industrialized empires clash with each other and local populations for dominance, the small expeditionary Marine Corps had their work cut out for them. for a launching point east of Hawaii. Next day was set for December 7, 1941. The Japanese task force arrived undetected, right on schedule. And within hours, America would be at war. of the United States. The Japanese have drawn first blood. The attack was a complete surprise. We have witnessed this morning the attack of Pearl Harbor. Irene Dunn, Bob Coleman, Penny Lamar, Greer Garson, all part of a contingent of some 50 screen celebrities giving their time and talents to aid the national war effort. Yes, in democratic America, everybody is doing his bit. There goes Jimmy Stewart on his way to enlist. A movie star of modern times is sworn into service. Tyrone Power, hero of many a daring exploit on the silver screens of the world. He'll now play his greatest role as a Leatherneck Marine. And now that crowd lines up to buy bonds from their favorites. They buy knowing that every dollar invested helps send more planes, tanks, and ships to the United Nations. When the Second World War ended, the superpowers made a decision to divide Korea into two distinctly different sovereign nations. The border between these two rivals was an arbitrary horizontal line, the 38th parallel. It became one of the deadliest dividing boundaries in the world. The Russian and Chinese-backed communists led by Kim Il-sung in the industrial north and the American-supported fledgling democracy led by Syng Man Rhee in the agrarian south. Right from the beginning, the two Koreas were spoiling for a fight. But neither Russia, nor China, nor America wanted an armed conflict to start there. They were too busy worrying about Europe. So, when Secretary of State Dean Acheson gave a speech outlining how the United States was committed to protecting Japan, he omitted the Republic of Korea. Five months later, on the night of June 24, 1950, what happened? Who can set the scene? 
our military force in the Far East was operating on a bare minimum, were poised against the communists in a cold war, the threat of nuclear annihilation, and what happened in Korea. Right. Although they continued to deny it, the North Koreans invaded South Korea. The Cold War turned hot in the first fighting contest between communism and freedom. It's almost time to go, but let's listen to what President Harry Truman had to say about the Korean War. The fact that communist forces have invaded Korea is a warning that there may be similar acts of aggression in other parts of the world. The Chinese had stayed clear. The forecast was good. Assuming victory, the UN command changed its strategy. As part of 10th Corps, the 1st Marine Division was sent climbing into the Sartre Tybeck Mountains on a headlong race for the Yalu River, the far northern border of North Korea. Okay. The 1st Marine Division was about to face an entirely different period. Okay, it's cold in here. This is Mm-hmm. 